Would you remember the differences between chronic bronchitis and emphysema for the NCLEX? So remember, emphysema is characterized by air trapping, and that's because over time, smoking is gonna damage the alveoli. And now when the client exhales, instead of that air exiting smoothly, this alveoli has become like a floppy plastic grocery bag. And so instead they'll exhale and this will just kind of collapse in on itself and trap all of that air in the alveoli. So this leads to air trapping and hyperinflation. These patients can't get air out, and that's why people with emphysema are our pink puffers. They puff with that pursed lip breathing to try and force this air out. So we're looking for signs consistent with air trapping and hyperinflation. So would we see pale, cool lower extremities? Well, I certainly hope not. That's going to be a sign of decreased perfusion to the lower extremities, like we would expect in peripheral artery disease, but not in COPD. Then hyperresonance on percussion. Would we see this with air trapping? Yes, essentially these clients with emphysema have so much trapped air with that barrel chest has become like a drum. So when we percuss it, it's very resonant. So I would expect to see this. Then sharp chest pain on inspiration. So that would be more expected with like a PE or pneumothorax. I would only expect to see that in emphysema if they had pneumonia. So not just from emphysema alone. Then a decreased hemoglobin and hematocrit. So you might remember that COPD actually increases the hemoglobin and hematocrit because they're chronically hypoxemic. So their body produces more red blood cells to just try and carry more oxygen around. So it would not be this one. So, all right, the only one consistent with air trapping for emphysema is hyperresonance on percussion and we're correct. Great job.